Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about this book self. Book self. So the star of the day is this bookshelf and this bookshelf is more like a book showcase than a bookshelf because there are lots of things other than books with lots of memories. So I keep them here because I want to cherish my memories. And here in this bookshelf here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shelves. And also at the bottom here, there are three cabinets. Actually, I could add some more shelves here, but I didn't do that because I wanted to keep some things, those I don't want to display them, but I need to keep them. So here are uh, many miscellaneous items like extra tissues, containers, toothbrushes, candle, crafting paper, shears, and etc. etc. Okay, I've attached these uh, glass doors here because in our country we have kind of warm weather. Warm, warm. We have kind of warm weather, and that's why we have dust in anywhere and everywhere all the year round. So I need to protect my books and other things from explicit dust and also here's the lock for extra protection or whatever and this thing have decorated it uh, with these things actually i have plans to add some green vines here but when i went to buy them they are not available so i had to come up with other idea and i think it it looks good because you know it's such a color that just uh, lights up maybe in future i'll add some green vines here and until then it will be here and i'm hoping to go almost in detail about uh, almost everything in this bookshelf so this video will be long grab your coffee like me and let's proceed i'll share about the left side shelves in this video and about the right side shelves in the part two video let's open it first this is the first shelf and it's in the most upper left corner of my bookshelf and this shelf actually contains most of my job and office things in my office desk tour video you have already watched this clay pot this jar and this one and the pen holder etc from here this fake plant actually i wanted to keep it on my desk but later i decided to keep it here to add some color here are some other things behind they are mostly things from my job and also some souvenirs and other things from different tours and trips I have done before. Now the most beloved thing here is this, this frame and it was given me by my students. They are my students. Actually they love me so much so they gifted me it on their last day with me. I wanted to keep their memories and those lovely students of mine. So I keep it here. So yeah, that's all about the first shelf. So this is the second shelf just under the previous one I've already shared. And it uh, contains mostly my university books. And as I did my graduation and post-graduation in history, they are mostly history books. I'll go in detail about each of the books now. So the first one, this is E.H. Carr's What is History? And it's a theoretical book. So the second one is from our one of our very young teachers. We couldn't have her classes because she was already retired and we are students, but we got a chance to meet her in a seminar. She is an amazing woman and I kept this book. And these two first two books are in English, but the later one are all in Bengali. So this book is a theoretical book too. This book is about the history of the most of the Arab countries. This book is about the history of England. This book, I love this book. This book covers all the archaeological ruins and treasures and heritages of our country. So it's a great book and the best book ever on this topic in our country. So now this book is an interesting book from our very own teacher, our sir. And this book is about our liberation war, the print media at that time, and the situation. Now this book about the history of uh, USA. Now this book, I love this book. It's about the Bengal Sultanate or Bengal uh, Sultanate. This book is the best book in our country about, on the topic. It covers uh, that period very well. Now these two books are the history of civilizations. This one uh, covers a lot about the ancient 
civilizations like Egyptian civilization, Babylonian civilization, etc. And this book covers about the Middle Ages mostly, chivalry, feudalism, manor system, etc. Now this book, it covers the history of modern Europe, this book too. And before this book, we relied only on this book. It's a very good book. This book is also written by the same uh, sir of ours. Now these three books, they are about the history of South Asia. They cover the ancient times and medieval times and also modern times uh, till the partition in 1947. Now these two books, they are my love because they cover uh, some important information and historical information about some other places with my hometown. That's why I kept them. They, they are my personal collection. Now this book, uh, I think it looks white on my camera, but it's actually in pink color. This cover is not the original cover of this book, but I added it here because I love this book and I love pink color. This book actually covers the ancient and medieval period of the history of Bangladesh. And that's why I like this book because actually I'm very much interested in the ancient history and I'm proud of those times. So yeah, I keep this. Okay, now about this book, it covers the ancient medieval and also a part of modern time too till our liberation war in 1971. Now this book, it covers the British period till our liberation war. And this is a very interesting book. It covers the last years of the uh, British rule and the first years during the Bangladesh period. So this is all about my second shelf on the left side. Now onto the third shelf. So now the third shelf from left. So here are a number of books here, but I won't uh, share uh, all about all the books here. Only two books, this one. This book is about the history of Africa and it's in Bengali. Now this book is about the history of England. It's in English. Now this book is an interesting book, this book, because this book actually contains a lot of paintings of Dhaka city or capital from during the British period and medieval period. Now these are not books. These are some notebooks and other papers. There are some other books and notebooks and books and books. This book is the uh, biography of the Mughal Emperor Babur, Tuzuki Baburi. Actually, it's the Bengali um, translation of that book. I want to share about this. Like the previous pink one, it's also pink, but I think it looks white. This book is also about the ancient time Bengal's history. So I like this book so much. It's so thin, but it has lots of information. These two books, they are actually souvenirs. I didn't uh, buy it. Now this book is about uh, Jimmy Carter. This book uh, is about the socialist movement and activities just after our liberation war uh, in our country and the rise and fall of the socialist party. And this book is a very important book. It's Samuelson and Nordaz's Economics. It's in English. Now this book is the best book in our country about the uh, basics of political science. So this one. And this is also a history book. This book is the economic review of our country and it's also in English. Now these three books are also in English. There are three books. Actually these two are the same books. Some chapters I have collected differently. And these two books are about the history of the USA. And this one is the history of the Ottomans. So I love this book. Okay, so I should uh, share about these two books too. They are Ibn Khaldun's Al Muqaddima. This is the first part, and this one is the second part. And yep, I have these books in my collection and I'm very much proud of it. And they are the Bengali translation of that book. So you see that these are also mostly history books from my university days. So now the last shelf from left side and here these are all the notebooks and assignments, reports, etc. from my university days. I love them so much. I work hard and these are the memories of those days of mine so I keep them. Still I use them from time to time. I need the information and other things from these things. Here is a boy, boy. <laughs> we call boy 
the word for book in Bengali. And these files, they are not from my university days, they are later edition. I keep some extra papers and other things here. This box, it wasn't in this color actually. I covered it with pink color paper and also I added this. There are some necessary things here in this box. And this is my lovey dovey thing. Actually, this is a biscuit pot, but it got some uh, weird logos and uh, things written on here. I didn't like that that much, so I wanted to change it. And as I wanted to add uh, my love for my K pop bias group, so I just did this. So I started my K pop journey with Shiny. I still love them, I still listen to their songs. Shiny doesn't have uh, an one official logo, they have different kind of logos but i like this two most and this is yes you know what it is it's bts bts logos and this is the previous logo from bts but this is the now their official logo i've drawn them myself and painted them and i painted in pink color the logos i like most and the other logos with their official color the chinese official color is pearl aqua so i tried to do that but I think the colors didn't come out on this paper uh, in a right way. It doesn't uh, feel very much pearl aquatic color and also the purple color. I think the BTS purple is mostly uh, violet -y kind of purple, not the reddish kind of purple. Purple has a bluish shade and also a reddish or pinkish shade. It got the pinkish one but actually I think if it, uh, it would got the bluish one then it would be the perfect shade perfect color so yeah there are some mistakes and other things also but still i like them so that's all about the main bookshelf tour part one and one thing i want to share this uh, attire today actually i wanted to uh, upload this video on 21st february 21st is february is a great day in our history and in our country our culture because it's the national martyrs day and now is the international mother language day remembering the language martyrs of our country so this uh, color the black and white is the color of that day part of the celebration and this month february is the um, national book fair month in our country though it got shortened and there are some uh, lots of restrictions uh, this year because of the covid situation you know so still we have the book fair so that's why i have plans to share about my books and my bookshelf in february my books are mostly in uh, bengali so yeah i have connected my part to that celebration and that glory and the thing is language and literature is the great part and identity of a nation and their culture i feel that and i cherish it in my way and i want to uh, share it so that's all about first part of my bookshelf tour and also talking about some things uh, it was nice to talk about those things uh, briefly here so yeah i think uh, from my video will be helpful maybe you'll get some inspiration for your own books uh, book organization and bookshelf maybe so yeah that's it and that's all for today and as always help yourself help others stay elegant take care hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video about this hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video is about is about little video. and as in our country we have lots of dust problem 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 we have those noises all the time because of lots of trucks and cars and cars though it got some restrictions and it shortened because of the covid situation 